all right nice beautiful fall day and it is technically the fall uh, three day two or three days in uh, just on my way to cut some grass and yeah so I was talking about all those uh, like tree falling and size saws and stuff like that and comparison those uh, a bunch of saws at the still shop uh, I even grabbed the uh, 261 to comparison to the uh, 392 or 362 the 400 the 462 and the 500i but I think if I have to choose for the slightly bigger saw I might go for the 462 um, it just seemed it was a tad bit lighter than the 500i a tad bit heavier than the 400 but it seemed like it was a slightly stiffer saw, but mind you, could have had a sh the shorter bar on there. That could add something to do with it. But I'm still thinking that the 400 is still the better bet for me. Uh, again, I'm not one of those guys that has to go out and buy the biggest, baddest to show off. Like, like a lot of guys would buy a big chainsaw because they're afraid, like I, I want a saw that's powerful enough to do anything. And they're thinking about the odd tree that's gonna be that would actually require a saw like that, rather than the, the majority of average that they're gonna be doing. You know what I mean? Like if I have to do like a double side cut on a well, I'll put it to you this way: there was a, a, a <laughs> good timing, no traffic jam for this guy. Uh, if I have to do a double cut on a, um, and what I have done, it was a birch tree, yellow birch, was four foot at the base. And my dad ordered stove wood by the, by the tandem load, right? So a big truck comes along with a clam, drops it off in the yard, and we saw it up, right? And um, the cool thing about that is... Um, you know, you don't have to go out into the bush and fall it. But you still pay, like, you know, I don't know what it'd be now, but it was, last time we did it, I think it was like 16, 1800 for the tandem load. And that'll give you almost eight, 10 quarter wood, 12 quarter wood, depending on how it's uh, piled into the truck, right? Uh, it's, it's fair, it's fair. Most of the time we end up with, you know, 14 cord, if it's piled well in there. Uh, and we get it from, you know, guys we know, They'll, they'll go that little extra mile for us, right? We usually get all the wood. So, you know, when you by the time you you, 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 yeah, you might be playing a little bit more per cord, but you're saving the time of going getting it. You're saving the time of falling it. You know, just cutting it up is a lot easier and splitting it is a lot easier. Buying a box split, well, you know, like it, cord wood is getting expensive. You, could, you know, buying $40 cordwood is is becoming the thing of the past Let's see my buddy out there right so I, we got the, anyway one one year he dropped off like this ridiculous sized log it was a yellow birch four foot at the base it was almost all hollow and I cut through it with my 16 inch bar no problem once I got started getting down to the solid block which, which was still around three feet I had to kind of like double side the cut you know what I mean like cut it all the way through on one side and then roll the block and then uh, zip it up the other side and it did it just fine yeah it was a little slow uh, but it, it did it right so if you could do that much work with a little saw and you only have to do blocks like that there was maybe eight blocks like that that I had to do on that tree the rest was you know start at the top and just go right through it you know what I mean so for as often as I have to do blocks like that you know it's not worth it buying the bigger saw because you know it, it, it's it's so rare that you have to do that for me you know for the stove wood like nobody buys gigantic laws for stove wood typically uh that's more milling and and, and you know like for sawmill stuff right otherwise you cut the tree that's appropriate size to your saw you know and your furnace you, you know what i mean yeah you got the odd one that has a big butt block you know like the tree's there you're gonna take it right but you don't go out of your way to cut a bigger tree than you need to for stove wood doesn't make any sense right like why would you cut a big oak tree that you could make lumber out of you know what i mean like um 
when you can get you know a smaller one that maybe is starting to die or whatever same with the maple you know get the smaller stuff for stove wood so you're not cutting the good lumber wood you know what i mean um that's just the way i look at it you know but you do end up with the odd bigger block but because of that you got to think of the saw that you're mostly going to use right and i think for me a mid-range saw 67 cc's is fine i've used the 72s is the biggest i've ever used i like them but i hate the weight you know what i mean especially once you start getting down to the smaller blocks which is the majority of your cutting right and i'm sitting there why am i carrying this big 15 pound saw or you know more like 18 or 20 pounds of saw when i can get away with half of that you know you know what i mean like uh like i was telling the guy in the still shop but like you know if you if you can only afford one saw get a middle of the road saw like the 400 uh, you know and if you're in a slightly bigger area maybe get the 462 if you're slightly you know even like smaller wood than i'm doing get the 362 you know like save it get it only as heavy a saw as you need you know that, that that's that's my advice get only as heavy as you actually need if not you're just carrying all that weight for nothing you know what i mean uh the guys that are doing the tree jobs which will be guys like me like guys you'd be laugh at the kind of jobs i'm doing with that those that little uh ms 180 in the um and that uh husky uh 235x x torques like i'm falling trees that are like you know 16 inch round is it ideal no you know the, the few but you know they gotta wait for the saw a little but for the amount of trees that i'm following that size it's so few that it's like who cares if you you know this tree takes you a little more time the rest of the trees are not going to take you much time at all oh i thought that was my friend's friend's mom it wasn't it was an imposter i hear somebody whistling so yeah so going into the still shop grabbing all those saws you know like i think a better investment for me is buy a mid like like say something like the 400 the ms 400 c and then just get all kinds of bars for it get a 16 inch bar and say just for limbing get a 32 or 36 inch light bar for like n nothing over six inches like basically branches treetops uh not climbing trees but when the tree's on the ground i still got that tree there to clean up I mean, I was cutting that that uh, alder up. It's an, it's an alder. I finally figured out what it was. I was cutting that alder up with a friggin' um, tiny little saw, like my tiny saws. I didn't follow that. I follow, followed it with the 372, but you get the idea. Anyway, I got to get to work now, so there we go.